The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Code Lyoko's Oh My France 3, Canal J, Cartoon Network, Antifilms, Moon Scoop, Tanya Palumbo, and Thomas Romaine. Please support the official release. <laughs> So nice job getting nothing done last night, dumbasses. You guys are more useless than Zack Snyder is to Warner Brothers. I don't really like where this is. So I've scheduled your next mission for tonight. As tempting as it is to plunge back into the horrifyingly realistic post-apocalyptic video game you just happened to discover right outside our school, I'm gonna have to say, f no. So, 7 o'clock tonight? Yeah, still no. Calling the police, going to have this factory destroyed, and all of you assholes arrested. Odd, you are aware I have dirt on pretty much everyone in this school, right? Everyone? Everyone. Everyone. Well, you don't have any on you me. You don't have mother, your father's hermaphrodite. So that explains the purple tank top. We have limited wardrobe. Yoga. The God, I love like day. Ready for some more? Holy f how long have you been standing there? It takes real dedication to make a dramatic opening line like that. Apparently also takes sleep deprivation. Pitch, please. Round two, fight. Okay, you can do this. Just pass through the magic door. You haven't gotten any sunlight in three days. Three, two, one, go! Oh, thank God I'm not dead! Wish I could feel the sensation of heat, though. Or any sensation at all, for that matter. Okay, so all those sillies don't want me in their gang, so I think I should make my own. It's especially ironic because we're usually the targets of ridicule for dumb blondes. But I have black hair! <whistles> Natural colors don't matter. Are you, like, in or out? I'm gonna want a good spot in your hierarchy. I'm talking maybe fifth in command to the principal. Fifth? Really? It's called negotiation, dumbass. How about I just don't tell him you followed me to my room? God, this sh hole just reeks of white privilege. <sighs> By the way, my name's Ulrich. Wanna tell me your name in the show's incredibly lazy exposition excuse? Only if you mispronounce my name afterwards. It's a terrible running gag. Nah, I already did that shtick last episode. Damn. It's Yumi. So, have you considered what might happen if the girl can't actually materialize? Excuse me? Like, I mean, if she isn't actually human. You shut the f up, blasphemer! Wh what? You keep talking smack about my new girlfriend, and I'm going to virtualize you next time in the middle of the digital sea! I don't even think that's been explained. I will end you faster than a raging Jehovah's Witness! Get the hell away from me, you crazy jackass! It's too racist, Ulrich, don't do it! Or is it insensitive to disregard her culture because it's an important part of her personality? For the love of God, Ulrich, whatever you do, don't ask her which country she's from! So which province are you from? God damn it! It's actually prefectures now. And Kyoto. Ooh, cool. Just went from a 7 to an 8. Am I hallucinating, or are you seeing that too? Oh dear god, not this again. Yeah, maybe we should go. Wait, what the hell? Let go of me! Sorry, I'm heavily phobic of large shiny spheres. It stems back to being born in a disco. So what the hell was that? The first occurrence of a heavily repeated plot formula. <phone rings> Yo, J-Man, what up? I was just explaining to Odd the difference between socialism and terrorism. Lunatics like you is why this country needs an open carry law! Oh, don't get me f***ing started. Hey, um, I hate to break the chase, but the school is kind of under attack by an electrical monster. I think it may have already gotten a few people. Whatever, we'll meet you in the factory and we'll materialize the girl and end this tonight. Hopefully, I mean. It could take us 94 whole adventures. <laughs> So thanks for explaining the entire situation to me off screen. But seriously, isn't this supercomputer like a weapon of mass destruction that's capable of killing millions? Slow down there, George W. Bush. I'm starting to question why I even came here. No shit. Hey, um, girl, I know I never really learned your name, or if you have one for that matter, but would you be open to a long distance relationship? <laughs> Come in the middle of something. Feel free to help me some! No probs, girl. I'll make like Donald Trump and send the three amigos on their way. Wait, what? Get me out of this thing, too! I really do not know how to use this thing. Well, we tried. Scanner time! Scanning. Virtualization. God, I can see the cringeworthy memes now. Hey, we suddenly know how to do impractical landings. No more falling on our asses. Ow! Most of us. Okay, remain calm and rip off Ice Age. I should be able to f 
feel any pain, but that really hurts. Oh, and now they're ganging up on me. Somebody help! Get out of the f***ing camera, you cubic twat! Exactly, am I supposed to kill anything? Ooh, a fan. Wait, it's too cold to need a fan here. This object is useless! Well, that was unexpected. Oh my god, I can't tell if she's a geisha or a samurai. Or maybe a geisha -rai. Or a samusha. Fuck. Somehow this seems a lot more tame than a tentacle monster, but that's not really a theory I want to test. Hey, guys, I kind of have this theory that Lyoko is spawning monsters into the real world. No shit. Einstein. <laughs> God, I can see the cringeworthy memes now. Damn it. It's more of these HR Giger monsters. Quick, get the girl to the shower and deactivate it to kill the monster in the real world. Wait, how do you even know that's how that works? The context. All right, so what's my password again? Crap, I forgot. I had to change it after I saw that H3H3 video the other day. I'm not risking my privacy going out the window. Should I speed this up? And I think to myself What a wonderful world Well, I'm sure everyone's doing just fine on their own. Password is Alita. Oh, come on, I made my password my name. Oh, wait, I remember my name. It's Alita. Fees dead put. The pits kill the Americans. Trump are getting on the edge. The cooler is coming in based the Normandy. Is so fit the regard I say in do it. Uh, it's a to do case upon the terrorism dans son pays. Oh god damn sissy, let me do my illegal vigilante work in peace. Where the hell is the girl? Yeah, it's still kinda like SAO for her. Well ain't that a pile of horse <laughs> Alright, time for plan B. What's plan B? Wait, hold on a minute. Did he just But that's impossible! You can call me Dr. Jeremy Brown. No one is calling you that. Well, worth a shot. So how is it exactly that we just so happen to live outside a factory that is abandoned and contains the greatest technology on Earth? Seriously, don't get it at all. It could have a multiverse portal for all I know. Maybe the girl will know more about it. Yeah, sorry, not really. Oh, but I found out my name. Do you want to hear it? So anyway, I did some digging. Apparently there's this thing called Xana, which I'm guessing Steve Jobs' codename for the next Mac product, which is a sentient AI that for some reason wants to destroy the planet, is on Lyoko, and can somehow get through the towers and possess people and create monsters and shit. Good thing we now have the plot set up for pretty much every episode this season. St Steve Jobs. I believe you, Jeremy. Why, thank you, um... Alita. Thank you, Alita. Wow. You know, I actually really liked this. What are you talking about? This is such an exhilarating thrill ride. By keeping this thing on, we are endangering the lives of the student body, the nation of France, and more importantly, me! So it's settled. We're gonna do this forever. <sighs> I have no choice in this, do I? Oh, come on, Odd. We're Lyoka warriors, aren't we? We're what? What the hell kind of stupid name is that? About as stupid, nonsensical, and abrupt as Z-Warriors. 